Hello my fellow gamers, it's Katesy and welcome back to another island tour. If you are new here, hi, I am Creative Katesy, aka Katesy, and for today's uh, island tour we will be exploring the wonderful island, The Burrow, created by Claire, and I am super excited about this to island tour because she based her island off of the harry potter series and she did send me quite the description of her island which i will go ahead and read for you right now she says i am a massive harry potter fan so i wanted to create a harry potter inspired island i knew i could have up to eight homes and wanted to take full advantage of that I created the Dursley's house and a muggle area, including a Bristow. Past the Bristow and flower shop, you will find the leaky cauldron. The back goes to Diagon Alley. As most muggles can't see the leaky cauldron, they can cross the bridge to the fishing village. Hidden behind the village is a forest, camping tent, and a Patronus showing where the Sword of Gryffindor is. There is a shell cottage on the outskirts with Dobby's grave in the sand and I kept a small house for Hagrid and a section off the side room inside. Two of the houses make up Hogwarts. The first is Dumbledore's office and common rooms. The second make up the classrooms with Herbology being outside. The Quidditch pitch leads to the maze and in the middle if you touch the cup the port key will take you to the graveyard. Ooh. From resident services, you can go through the wall and into the train platform. Platform. From there, you can travel up through Diagon Alley to Gringotts. Best pick up the maracas to fend off the dragon near Bellatrix's vault. Wow, guys. I am blown away by that description. I cannot wait to see what she has done to turn her island into this Harry Potter island. Uh, but I will be sure to link any uh, social media accounts and her DA in the description of this uh, video below. Also, if you enjoy being inspired and going on these island tours with me, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That way you can be alerted when new content is added, which I will try to do as often as I possibly can. But as excited as we are, let's take a look at that map and see what we can expect oh guys this looks intense i know it's very uh squared off and but there's just so much going on here and i absolutely love it and she did absolutely use up all of the villager slot slots that she could the resident slots i mean so we've got the leaky cauldron we got gringotts we got the bristow uh, Shell Cottage, the Dursleys, Hogwarts, and Hagrid's. Oh my goodness. So let's take a look. What villagers does she have? So she has Chrissy, Sherb, Eugene, <laughs> uh, Yuka, I believe that's pronounced, Boris, Melba, Faith, Nibbles, Opal, and Patty. Oh my goodness. Some of these guys are super cute. I know Sherb is a, a fan favorite, uh, but these guys, some of these I haven't seen before, but I'm, I cannot wait to see what she has done uh, with those villager houses and with her own houses too. I can't wait to see it, but I'm excited guys. I'm, so I am a Harry Potter nerd. I actually turned 11 around the time that the first movie came out, if not a little bit before then. But I grew up in that Harry Potter universe. And just to kind of give you a little bit, my husband and I actually flew down to Florida to go to Universal Studios to see the Wizarding World. And it was amazing anything Harry Potter I just absolutely love but let us get into this village get into this island and see what she has done and created I love how open this area is and it does feel very modern very very muggly <laughs> that sounds so wrong muggly 
I'm creating my own terms here as we go. So, all right, let's take a look here. Let's go to this house first. So I believe she said that all of them were decorated, or at least that's what I got from the description. So let's go in and take a look at all of these. Oh, this is cute. Look at this, guys. It makes me want to have a pastry or a dessert now. <laughs> this is making me hungry. This is this is not fair. <laughs> we'll come back to this room. I gotta make my stomach stop growling here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the bathroom. I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I I love the use of those. I think they're like makeup booths, if I'm remembering correctly. I could be very, very wrong. These items right here. Um, I can't think if that's the actual name or the term of them. But that is a great use for them. Bravo. Fantastic job. I love this. This is just so peaceful in here. Very, very clean look. I love it. Absolutely love it. I wish my bathroom was that clean. <laughs> Alas, I have makeup all over the counter, so. <laughs> I just, I love this. And I love this. Okay, so this is one of my favorite wallpapers of all time. So, this is a room after my own heart. <laughs> Man, I love the use of the tables. And the items in here. And the fact that she put the music in there. Just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we'll move on to this next room here. Oh, it's the kitchen area! Oh, this is wonderful! Oh, the use of the ironwood items. With the stainless steel items. And then of course she put the um the polish feature on these items. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, this is just just amazing. The space is used super well in here. I never would have thought to do that. So over here, the use of this item for like the pantry. Awesome. You're giving me some inspiration for my own my own home. I still need to decorate the um the kitchen in my home and that's given me some really good ideas. This is fabulous! <laughs> oh, this is so great! Um, they better be watching Harry Potter. Just saying. Or, or the Fantastic Beast series. Doesn't matter which to me. They better be watching it. I just knew that I had to do this island, especially because the third and I believe the final installment of the Fantastic Beast series is coming out on the 15th. I knew I needed to come and tour this island for that occasion. I am really excited about it. I'm a little nervous because they've switched characters a couple of times and... Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. 
This is like the royal treatment of dining halls. Like this is what I would expect if I ever walked into a huge mansion or a very fancy restaurant. This is just amazing. Awesome. Just awesome. Uh, waiter, I would like my uh, food, please. I will take the cheesy ravioli with some breadsticks and a side salad. I know, I just put in my Olive Garden order. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm nervous about the changing of uh, Granny Vault's character so much, but I understand why, and I, w I won't get into the politics of it all, but um, I'm just excited to see how <gasps> everything just kind of fits together. But <gasps> getting back to this, oh, this is cool. This is like the basement bar area. I love it. <laughs> Oh, this is great! This is like the exclusive bar area for those sophisticated, cool people. And what's phenomenal about all of this is this is very much Muggle World, and we haven't even really got into the Harry Potter stuff, but I am 100% blown away by this. And we are just on the first house. Fantastic. All right, let's go see the rest of this island. If the rest of, if this house is any indication on what to expect for this island, I'm gonna be breath. I'm gonna be blown away the entire time. But hello. So we got South Cottage here. We came here as kids. Oh, that's why. Um. Oh, what's his name? One of the Weasley kids said about the South Cottage. They went, the South Cottage is actually where, um, it's their aunts or something like that. And they used to come there as kids all the time. But then when the war broke out, um, they used it as kind of a refuge location. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love all the flowers here. I bet I know what home this is! <laughs> I am excited to go in here. Okay. Okay, Caitlin. Hold it together. Alright. We are invading the Dursley's home. Be prepared. Be prepared. No way. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is fantastic. No, this is the... This is Harry's first... The bedroom underneath the stairs. Oh, that is so clever. Oh, that is fabulous. <laughs> You're making me really want to go back and rewatch the the movies now. But well, this is phenomenal. I love it. And those are supposed to, I'm guessing, to be the stairs up to uh, the second floor. But oh my gosh, that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's like a little w workshop. And we never see this in the Dursley's homes in the movie or know of this existing in the books, but I could foresee that they have a room specific for storage because of how tidy and how organized and how kept together the, their home is. They would need a place to store all the clutter of their home. So this room makes perfect sense.
Absolutely fantastic. All right, so we'll go back to the back room here. I wonder if this will be the kitchen and the dining room where, is it Aunt Petunia? Yes. Oh, fabulous. So Aunt Petunia turned into a, a nice balloon for insulting Harry's, uh, Harry's parents. But this is awesome. I love the use of the wallpaper too. It it totally fits with uh Was it? No, not Petunia. Um Marge. Aunt Marge, that's right. Aunt Petunia is um Harry's aunt. But Marge is Mr. Dursley's sister, so technically there's no relation there. And I'm having to rethink all of my Harry Potter knowledge for this. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what this room has in store for us. Oh, this is the uh, dining room. <laughs> I love that she put the TV right there. Oh, that scene is fabulous. Oh, that is so, so great. Oh, this makes me laugh. Th this makes me so happy. So happy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Prisoner of Azkaban, I think, is one of my more favorite books. Or, no, not books, movies. Um, I just, I don't know what it is about it. I know it's a little bit darker, but I, I just absolutely love it. So you think this might be... Oh! Well, hello! So we got Harry's bedroom here. Oh, this is... Fabulous! So we got that there, and then we got the bathroom over here. And I'm guessing this back one... Let's see if I can figure out how to get in there. Oh! Missed it. So this must be Dudley's room. And then we have Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley here. Oh, that is great. That is awesome. I've always seen um, pictures of this top room being split into two rooms, but never this many, and this is done so well. So well. Like I said, I'm just, I'm blown away by this. This house just screams the Dursleys. Bravo. I love this. And it makes sense that there's no basement, so. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, you guys. That was just fabulous. Okay, let us get going with this island tour. We've been in two villager houses already, or two residential houses already, and I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface of this island. It is just so much to see already. Okay, so let's go this way. I only know to go this way because of... Um, Coming in on the dream address, had to figure out how to get from residential services to here. But let us check out down here. So it looks like they just... Oh, it's just a nice little sitting area. That's cute. And here's that flower shop that was mentioned in the description. 
that is wonderful. And then I think this is the leaky cauldron. But before we go in there, let us go down here. Oh, so this is the fishing village that she mentioned in the description. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> okay, so this is the fishing village. Wow, look at this, you guys. This is so cool. I love the use of these storefronts and the gazebo there. Oh, that is just fabulous. Oh. Reel it in! Reel it in! Wow, guys. This is just cool. <gasps> leads to the sword of Gryffindor guys oh that is awesome fantastic job oh this is awesome and this is the campsite this makes me think of all the times that Harry Ron and Hermione had to camp out while searching for horcruxes Oh, that is just fabulous. Great. Let's check out, I believe this is the Leaky Cauldron. And yep, this is the Leaky Cauldron, guys. This is fabulous. <laughs> oh look, guys, they're serious. And oh, I wonder if this is, that would have been funny if this was supposed to be Polyjay's potion. I know it's not, but that would have been fantastic. So it must be the top of the hour. I can hear the bell ringing. So we're going to go this way first. Well, this is a bedroom. This kind of reminds me of the, um, the room that the Minister of Magic and Harry were hanging out in when Harry came to the Leaky Cauldron in... The prisoner of Azkaban, and he's met by the minister of magic, minister of magic, and uh, they kind of have a quick talk about blowing up ants. That it, people don't, or you're not sent to Azkaban for that. <laughs> I hope not, <laughs> even though she deserved it. But that's the that's the room that it kind of reminds me. Of. All right, let's see what's back here. Oh, cool. It's the kitchen. This is great. Okay, I gotta know where that sound is coming from. It's a very eerie sound. <laughs> so obviously, we have the cooking. We're not the co yeah the the stove top and the fire burning, but I wonder if that's this. Nope, not that. That wasn't. That. Oh, I bet the sound that I'm hearing is, um, a room sound effects. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't use those very often, mostly because the rooms that I'm making don't... 
fit the soundscapes that are available for rooms. So I'd never really use them, but that was done really well. That was, that was really good. Oh, there's more soundscapes, but this room. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. This is the room that, um, ah! <laughs> that Harry stayed in for Prison of Azkaban. And he makes the mistake of opening the Book of Magical Creatures. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book. And, um... It attacks him and then hides underneath the bed. And the only way that Harry can get it out is to use his shoe as a decoy, which the the book then tries to eat. And then Harry jumps on the book. <laughs> you struck the spine, of course. <laughs> that is awesome. I never would have thought to even include that that room that was great so we'll go upstairs here oh there's even more rooms see this is what i'm used to seeing as far as room separation is you have two rooms on either side of the this large room but she did it differently in the Dursley's room. But this is just amazing. This is so well done. I absolutely love it. Guys, I am just... This island is just going to blow me away. Is what it's going to do. It is rendering me speechless, guys. Like, I don't know how many times I can say fabulous. But I'm going to keep saying it. Because it is fabulous. It is so well thought out. It is so well put together. It's fabulous. And being a huge Harry Potter nerd myself... This just really tugs at the heartstring, guys. Oh, it's the, um, the eating area. Oh, this is cool. I love this. It kind of sounds like the great, I know it's not the great hole. I know we're in the leaky cauldron, but it, it kind of makes me think of Oh, I think it was the first year, and you hear... Oh, no, it was it was still the third movie. Third movie. And you, you're in the Great Hall, and all of a sudden you hear the Headless Hunt, which is one guy riding a horse, running around with this bag, and in the bag is a head, and then um, the next shot is a headless horseman chasing the guy the first guy and trying to get his head back that's what the sounds of this room remind me of I know that they aren't I know that it's different settings but that's kind of what it reminds me of because of just making those correlations back and forth Oh my gosh, guys. We're... We haven't even gone a quarter into... This island. And we are already... Oh, it's Diagon Alley! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, this is so great, guys! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> well, hello. Please don't run. 
me over. Okay. So, oh, that's right. We have to grab the maracas for the dragon because I'm guessing this is green gods. On oh, here's more of Diagon Alley. We got a sitting place. Oh, I bet this is Hagrid. Yep. You're a wizard, Harry. I love the memes off of that. You're a lizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh my god. The robe shop. Alright, let's go check out Green Gods. Now we gotta make sure we have our maracas handy. So let us grab those. <gasps> Guys! Oh my gosh! This is fantastic! I've toured a couple islands of Harry Potter themed, and I even... One of my first islands was Harry Potter themed. And I have not seen anything or done anything like this. This is so cool. Okay. I'm blown away. I cannot wait to see what the rest of this, this building has in store. So do I want to go up or do I want to go down? Up or down? Oh, let's risk it. Let's go up. Oh, it's the trolley! Oh, that is clever! That is super clever! Oh my gosh, that is great! Lamp, please. Key, please. Oh, that is fabulous. I never would have thought to even do that. Claire, you are just blowing me away. This is fabulous. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see what's down here. I'm excited, like, I'm getting chills from this. Whoa! Okay, found the, found the, uh, the dragon, found the dragon. Gotta get through. <laughs> Dang. Bellatrix's vault. That is fantastic. Oh, and there's there's the cup. There's the cup. Accio Hocrux. I tried. I really tried. Alright. Gotta make my way across before he attacks me. Wow. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I think there was a little bit more to explore down here, if I remember correctly. Let's run down here. Went through there. Oh, here it is. Yeah, n platform nine and three quarters. Oh, that is awesome. That is a really creative way to do that. And then you just slip through here. And this is supposed to be King's Crossing right here. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, so what was this one again? 
Oh, I wonder if this is still... Okay, so this is still considered the Muggle community. So there was more to the Muggle community than, than we explored. Okay. So this is... Oh, this is the, um, the playground where the Dementors came. Okay, so let's see where all of this goes. And then this is still... Yes, so this is still Pivot Drive. I don't think we can get through or down. Can there? I'm not sure if we're supposed to. Oh. Oh. That was such a sad part. I love Dobby. He was obnoxious at times, but... I was really sad to see him sa to see him die. I'm guessing this kind of leads us into that shell cottage. Yes. I love this. This is just beautiful. Oh, this is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right, we'll take a look in here real quick. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is a wonderful remake of The Shell Cottage. Even though it was a super sad setting, I absolutely loved the scenes at The Shell Cottage. They were so well done and the cottage itself was super cozy and just warm in my book. This is... This is just phenomenal. I can't wait to see more. I really can't. Oh wow, it's a little tiny room table. I really want some chocolate cake. <laughs> This is so pretty. Claire, you have outdone yourself. This is just amazing. Just amazing. I'm speechless. I really am. Your island is blowing me away. Absolutely blowing me away. Alright, back room here. And I really can't wait to see what you've done with Hagrid's hut and the cottage. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. It's so calming. Like, I just want to fill up that tub with a bubble bath and just stay here for a few hours. I love the color scheme. I love the items that you use in here. 
just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just get more and more blown away by this island. So we'll go to this side here. Oh, this is so precious. If you guys could see me, I'm doing like an awe face. Like I'm just, oh. <laughs> this is so cute and I love the use of the uh, patchwork um, the chair the armchair there I think that's such an adorable item but this is fabulous and I love that you use the use of the the shells all over this this house it's a great use for those items. All right, so let's go upstairs. Oh, it's a couple of bedrooms. Oh, we got the Sword of Gryffindor. Oh, this is great. This is fabulous. Let's move around here. Oh, that is just cool. So cool. Amazing touches. I really feel like I'm at the Shell Cottage right now. I want this room! <laughs> I really want this room! This is beautiful! Oh my gosh! That is awesome! The color scheme... The items used, all just fantastic. Bravo on the Shell Cottage. Bravo. Claire, you just keep, you just keep blowing me away. I don't know how you do it, but every area that I see, every place that I'm exploring on this island, I'm just blown away by. Let's go run up here real quick, see what we can find. But, oh, just a little, little bathing area there. Okay, so we can't go across there. And that is fine. So let us see how we can get... Hey, buddy! Back to where we were. We come down... Yes! So here we are back with King's Crossing, which I have actually been to King's Crossing before. Oh look, it's Harry! <laughs> so I have actually been there before. I went several years ago on a class trip to England and Wales, and I had a day off within my class and I took a trip to London and just absolutely love that trip. Ooh. I think we're heading into the back half of the island and this is supposed to be dedicated towards Harry Potter and Hogwarts, but <gasps> this must be the Herbology Room.
Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> and the use of the... Is it gyroids or gyroids? I can never remember. But the use of these guys is so great. Especially if you, um... Like, think of them as mandrake roots. That is awesome. Okay, so we'll check out over here. I don't want to check over to there yet. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I want to see this castle. So, let's see here. Ah, that is awesome. Just awesome. And I'm not really sure who you're supposed to be, but it's fabulous that he's just kind of sitting there. Okay, what is down here real quick? Oh, so that leads to Hagrid's. Okay. So we will just kind of explore here. There's a spider. So let's see what's in here. So you guys think that this is going to be the common rooms and office. <gasps> There's Dumbledore! Hi Dumbledore! Love it! Alright, let's, so let's check this way out. And we'll come back to the middle. Sorry, I did not take that much time. I was just super excited for these other rooms and I... <laughs> so this must be Hufflepuff. Oh, this is so cool. I mean, it's true that we never see what Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw's common rooms look like. But there are people who have done, like, fan art drawings of them. And I feel like Hufflepuff would be very, very cozy. Like, you would not want to leave their common room kind of thing. And I, I get that vibe in here. Like, I wouldn't want to leave here. I would just want to curl up with a good book right over there and enjoy some great company. Although, I'll, I'll admit it is a little hard to read when people are trying to talk to you. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this main room. It's all the artwork. Oh, that is great. Oh, I think my cell one moved. It would be kind of fun to have this place timed that when you come in here, I, I suppose it would, it would also kind of depend on your character and how quickly you tour the island, but it would be kind of cool if you could get into this room when uh, the haunted or the fake paintings change. There's some fake paintings that change and it would be pretty cool if you could get in at that time just to come in and see them change. That would be fantastic. It's Dumbledore's office! Oh, this is great! I love it! Oh my gosh! And the trophy case being the case that he has. All of his trinkets. And he got the sorting hat up there. Oh, this is fabulous. It's the pensieve! Turn around! Right there! Oh, that's so cool. You got Fox in the corner over there. Bravo! And you can't forget Dumbledore's love for Wizard Chest. Alright, so we'll go over here, check this one out. I think this might be Ravenclaw. Yep. <laughs> How 
did I know? I am actually a Ravenclaw, if you couldn't tell by the outfit. <laughs> but no, Ravenclaw is my house. Um, I also got a Phoenix Feather wand. Is it a holly wand? The wood? I cannot recall. And then my Patronus is some kind of falcon. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's a falcon of some kind. And then my house for Ilvamori would have been Thunderbird. Are you guys seeing a theme here? Every single thing in my Harry Potter profile is a bird. Which is really funny because I'm not terrified of birds, but I'm not a huge fan of them either. I have been attacked by birds I don't know how many times. And maybe it's the wizarding world trying to get me over that that fear. <laughs> Oh, it's Slytherin common room. Oh, this is cool. This is so well done. When I did the Harry Potter themed island for my island, I think coming up with the common rooms was one of the more trickier things that I had to do. But this is so well done. So well done. Just wow. Awesome. That's Slytherin common room. I was half expecting Draco Malfoy to be sitting there on the, uh, the couches. So we'll come up here. It's the Gryffindor common room. Oh, look, she's even got the sweaters for Harry and Ron. Oh, that is great. And the Christmas tree. Where's the invisibility cloak? <laughs> I don't I don't see that in here. Where where's the invisibility cloak? But this is awesome. This definitely screams the Gryffindor common room. Oh I just realized this. The little frog <laughs> supposed to be Trevor. Oh, that is cool. That's fabulous. <laughs> All right, so let's go see the other house real quick. And then we will continue on with this island tour. So let's take a look at the other side of Hogwarts. So this is going to have all of the um, the classrooms. It's McGonagall's classroom! Oh, I love it! I absolutely love this! I think this would be one of my favorite classes. Not only because of the turning things and whatnot into animals or shape-shifting in general, but because it would be with Professor McGonagall. And she is one feisty lady. She is my favorite professor. Hands down. I hope that when I... Uh, get to her age that I am just as feisty as she is. Is this potions class? 
Or defense against... I think this is potions. Yes, this is potions. Oh, this is so cool. I couldn't tell if this was defense against the dark arts or potions, but I, I think this is 100%. I'm 100% I'm confident in this being potions. This is awesome. One of the things that I would love to learn to do is um, on YouTube there's videos on, and tutorials on how to make uh, quote Harry Potter potions and I would love to learn how to make those. I mean it's not too difficult it's just getting your hands on the materials that you need to make them can sometimes be a challenge because I think you need <gasps> transfigurate or no not transfigure um shoot uh it's the one with Trelawney oh shoot um I am having a major brain fart right now but it's not astrology but it is um, sightseeing in a way. So predictions. As she, the professor would say, cast ourselves into the future. That is awesome. Awesome room. I love the use of the cloud flooring. Wait, what other classrooms does she have in here? There's got to be a defense against the dark arts somewhere. No! No! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Professor Umbridge's office. The worst place ever and the most hated character ever. <laughs> J.K. Rowling did a fabulous job creating Umbridge. I know that she is the most hated character ever. Um, but you have to admit, she was so well thought of. Like, J.K. Rowling did an amazing job of thinking of Umbridge's character. And the actress who played her did a phenomenal job of it, too. Like, you just really wanted to hate her. Like, Voldemort, yeah, you hated him for being against the... against Harry. But... Umbridge, you just... You didn't feel sorry for her. She was just evil. What? It's the Yule Ball! Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, here we go. Gotta do. <laughs> There's me doing the steps. Which I do not know what kind of dance they were doing. It was, it was some type of waltz, I will give it that, but it was not one that I was familiar with. Not that I'm like a professional dancer or anything like that, but I enjoy dancing. <gasps> this is the library! I couldn't figure out exactly where we were at first. I mean, now that I look at it, it should have been obvious, but... 
what really gave it away was the the bars, the jail bars over there, and because of that being, I'm guessing, the restricted section. Oh, yep, there's the uh, the screaming book. <laughs> the little monster book down there. Oh, this is... This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. I don't know how you could blow me away any more than this. With these houses, with this island, it is so well put together and it makes the island feel so huge. I don't think we're playing the same game here. In fact, I know we're not playing the same game here. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at Hagrid's. Oh my gosh, it's a, it's the motorcycle. The one that Sirius gave him. Got a little farm here. Love it. Oh, and I'm guessing this is supposed to be, um, Buckbeak, Buckbeak's little, little place there. Alright, let's go check, check out Hagrid's real quick. This is phenomenal! I love it! This is definitely Hagrid's hut. 100%. Oh, that is so great. So great. And it looks like we have a side room here. Let's take a look. Oh, it's Hagrid's bedroom. This is just wonderful. The details, the creativity of this, just phenomenal. Oh, it's <laughs> it's his suit when he had to go uh, to the Ministry of Magic to plead for Buckbeak's life. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. I don't think you could have provided a better... Layout. I don't think you could have provided a better way to showcase Hagrid's hut. That is just phenomenal. The only thing I think you're missing is Fang himself. Could have gotten one of those little uh, dog toys from the Christmas collection and put him in there. That, I think that's the only, really the only thing. Unless he's hiding out here somewhere. Oh my gosh, looky! It's the car! Gotta hide back through here. Why follow the spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> oh, this is so great. Okay, who's back here? Oh, Mrs. Dursley. Oh my gosh. Diddykins. Again, another one you just kind of wanted to hate. But. Hello, I'm Harry. Harry Potter. Oh my goodness. I am just overwhelmed by this island. Okay, so we're gonna come back through Herbology. And then, oh, so this is where we were before that I turned back around, and this is the Owlry. I love this. All of the the mailboxes for all the houses 
are right here, except for a few. I think there's one that's still outside the Dursley home, which makes complete sense. But that is awesome. And then here's the Quidditch pitch! Okay, who's this? Okay, so that's the Bristow owner. Oh, this is awesome. Just awesome. Okay, so we're gonna keep falling. <gasps> it's the maze! Okay, so I'm not gonna cheat on the maze. I'm gonna try to figure out my way through here. Oh, so there's the cup. So we gotta figure out how to get there. Okay, so that's a dead end. I would be dead already. Oh, there's a dragon! <laughs> oh, it's the dragon from the fourth book! Movie thingy. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see here. Oh, we got some money trees over there. Thank you. just kind of comes back to the uh, the beach out here. That's cool. That's nice. That's awesome. But I want the cup. I am going to find that cup. Oh, 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 oh. The only, okay. The only thing that I think is missing in here is should have put the, the Sphinx in here somewhere. So in the movies... The movie itself, CGI, was fabulous, um, but the fourth movie slash book was probably the one that I was most excited about and then also most sad about because there were creatures that inhabited the maze itself, so there would be um, vines hidden within here that could trip you up. There would be um, spiders in here, there would be the sphinx, which guarded the final task um, before you got to the actual port key. And what was cool about the Sphinx is that you had to answer the riddle of the Sphinx or it would attack you. And so you get to see Harry go through that whole process. But this, regardless of, of not having those items in here, this was still a fantastic maze. And very, very well constructed like I'm I'm blown away by this whole whole place so fabulous fabulous job okay so we gotta take the port key no no we're in the graveyard oh this is so cool oh you got the you got the Death Eaters! <laughs> and you have all the graves here. Oh, this is fabulous! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! I love this. This is so well done. So well done. Claire, you have absolutely blown me away for this island tour. Absolutely blown me away. So I'm going to go back this way because I don't think I can get out any other way. And then I am going to cheat. I'm going to take a look at the map because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So it, I don't think I did. Because we've been to the campsite area down below. Which is that. We've been to Abel's and Nook's. And then we've also been to Hogwarts. I think we've seen it all. So let's go back. If I can figure out how. <laughs> So we'll go back this direction. Try to figure out how to get out of the maze. <laughs> hey, 
I made it. <laughs> I'm really good at retracing my steps, so... So yeah, we'll head back to the main area here before we kind of conclude everything just to make sure that we did not forget anything. So yeah, I think we may, we've gone through everything. Just to be sure, we'll head down here. And yeah. Well, let's, let's conclude it in uh, Diagon Alley here. So that concludes this island tour of the burrow created by Claire. This was a fantastic island. I absolutely loved every minute of this. I don't think I could pick just one favorite location. I really loved the Shell Cottage though. That was absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Hagrid's Hut was a fantastic as well, but this island as a whole, you just embodied the entire Harry Potter world and I am just blown away by it and I hope those of you that joined me on this island tour were as blown away by this island as I was. So thank you Claire so much for allowing me to tour your island. It was a lot of fun. It blew me away and my mind is just blown right now. And thank you to those who came along on this island tour with me. It means a lot that you took the time to watch this video. Please feel free to leave a comment below on your favorite section of this island. I would love to read what you guys thought if you were just as blown away by this island as I was. Uh, and then also just a quick reminder to make sure to like and subscribe so you know when more content is added. And have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in this amazing world. And until next time, keep inspiring my fellow gamers. Bye!